Okay, so I'm going to be talking about myself as a scholarly person. Um, I'm going to talk about my traits, and some of my traits are I have a good attention to detail, I'm punctual, I like to take risks, and I'm passionate. With one of my traits being that I like to take risks, our book tells us to take risks, just not foolish ones. Um, you should always think of a new opportunity as a learning experience, and that comes with when you take risks, you're always learning. The story in our book titled Who's Going to Train Us is about a nonprofit agency that helped immigrants and refugees. The agency was becoming broke, so um, one of the employees sent out an email um, for a grant request to IBM, um, and they responded by giving them a complex computer system, um, but nobody in the agency knew how to, knew how to work it, so um, this person took the risk of trying to learn it so they could better the agency because nobody else knew how to do it, so they were going to teach everybody in the agency um, how to work it, and he took these free classes that IBM offered. Um, so this, by this person doing this risk, um, the entire agency benefited from this one person taking a risk. Um, and this employee has been working with computers ever since. This semester I came across um, the photographer called Carlo Bellavia, um, and I would say he's one of my everyday heroes because um, his photography style is compatible with mine, and other, day here, or other everyday heroes would include Irving Penn and Richard Avedon, but like I said, um, Carlo Bellavia is more compatible with my style. Um, I believe one of his traits are also attention to detail because he mostly takes photos of portraits and he gets close up on the subject to where you can see the texture of their skin or their hair or um, their pores and things like that. He's also very driven and passionate and you can definitely see that in his work. Um, he attended school in both Europe and in the U.S., um, and in some photos he abstracts the human body um, to have the viewer look closer in order to perceive what it is, and I think that draws in the viewer even more so they can try to figure out what they're looking at exactly. Researching Erickson's theory and stages of development, I would be included in the category of young adult, also known as the intimacy and solidarity versus isolation, and in this stage, People seek out companionship and love, um, and if that fails, then isolation occurs. My tasks under this, un under this developmental stage sorry, would be not only keeping intimacy through a romantic partner, but also keeping intimacy through um, friendships. And having that intimacy with friends enhances your connection and in turn makes it more meaningful. The path to finding a career choice was a little bit difficult and overwhelming for me. Um, in my last presentation, I talked about how I wanted to be a vet tech at first. Um, but coming to WSU, I started with photojournalism, and then I switched over to photography and digital imaging when they started offering it. And the reason I did that was because I kind of wanted to cut out all of the writing in photojournalism, and I wanted to focus more on the photography aspect of that. So I thought that was more of the route I wanted to take. Um, I questioned it a lot when I switched over to photography, and I still sometimes do because I still wonder whether or not it would be a good career choice for me if it'll, if it'll pay the bills, if it'll provide, but it will always be a good hobby for me. Um, in the photography field, you work for yourself, so I don't really see where any multicultural issues or social justice issues would occur. Um, we look at men as equal credibility, so there isn't a lot of issues to look at there. Um, there isn't an issue of men getting paid more than women because, like I said, you work for yourself, um, so you set your own rates for yourself. Some, some conflicts I see happening in the next 12 months would be to find a job within my field as a photographer. Another conflict is trying to get my website up and running. The resolutions for these Conflicts would be to just apply for anything, whether it be in my field or whether it be completely ir like irrelevant to my career, such as working at a bank or McDonald's or something, something that would have good benefits. Um, and even if an organization isn't hiring, it would still be good to take that risk and apply to get my name out there and um, network. Um, I'll also always have my freelance business on the side to bring in some income. The resolution to starting a website would just to be just to do it, um, find somebody who can help me design it and put it together, and then I can print out business cards and um, send out my website to my clients. 
Being an educated person positively affects me socially and professionally, and it affects me negatively financially right now. Um, but in the long run, it should have a positive effect. Um, before coming to college, I was very shy, and I didn't talk much. Um, but in college, it's made me push myself to get out of my comfort zone a little bit and um, take risks. And in turn, it's made me stronger in a positive way. Um, being educated has also made me more aware of how to be more professional um, and what is appropriate and what's not appropriate in a professional setting. Financially, we all know that student loans are going to be coming up and we're going to have to pay for those and they're going to be affecting us for like the next 10 years or so. Um, so that's a negative effect of being educated, but um, like I said, it should be a positive outcome. My current goal is to graduate college, um, which I will be this semester. So I plan to work really hard these next few weeks and to finish strong and make the best of it. Another goal is, like I said, to find a job. Um, I have an opportunity to work at a credit union when I get back home. It's one that my sister works at. She could put my name out there for me. Um, I've never worked in this type of setting. I've never worked with money or anything like that, and it kind of scares me. But um, if you go in into a job knowing everything about it, you're not going to grow and you're not going to be satisfied with learning new things. Um, there's a story in our book that actually relates to this, and it's called Jacuzzi Jumpstarts Job Search. And it's about a guy sitting in a jacuzzi at his local health club, and he's talking to this woman who's also in the jacuzzi with him, and she works at a bank, and they're talking about how nobody is gonna, like nobody's hiring him and he's having a hard time finding a job, and she tells him that their bank is hiring. So she gives him the information, and he goes there and applies and has an interview, and he gets the job. Um, within three months of him working there, he was promoted, and two and a half years later, he's he got a job being an HTML production special, specialist. So that's another example of taking a risk and having the outcome be beneficial. In conclusion, I talked about my traits as a scholarly person, um, my everyday hero, Erickson's stages of development and how they affect my life, um, the path to finding a career choice, social justice and multicultural issues or lack thereof, um, how being educated affects my life, and my current goals. Thank you.